Hi, I'm Brandon Kennedy, the Chief Product Officer at Losan. It's not always possible to connect devices directly to the cloud. They may not have an internet connection, they might generate too much data, and sometimes you just can't trust your internet connection when making critical decisions. But in most cases, a gateway can solve these problems. Losant provides a really novel approach to edge computing because it uses our visual workflow engine to deploy logic directly to these gateways. So let's dive into the platform and take a closer look at Losant's edge compute. Losant's smart office has a lot of devices and sensors that can't talk directly to the cloud. So we can use Losant Edge Compute and our Edge Agent in order to talk to those on our local network and then send that information up to Losant's platform. So what I have open here is the Edge Compute device that's installed in our office and communicating with all of those local peripherals. For the most part, it looks exactly like every other device, but it does have this Edge Compute tab to show us some information about this special type of device. Losant Edge Compute works by installing our Edge Agent on a gateway. And then once that agent is installed, we can then deploy workflows to it just like we would the cloud. Those workflows then run locally on that device, don't require an internet connection, and makes it very easy to pull information locally and then publish it to the cloud. Some of the other features we have on this page include our deployment log, which keeps track of when workflows were deployed to this edge compute device. We also have the same device log as before, showing all the information coming and going to that device. But now let's look at an example of an edge workflow. For the most part, they look exactly like cloud workflows, except there'll be a few less triggers and there's some additional nodes that really only make sense when running in a local environment. This edge workflow is actually controlling our office music through Sonos. Since Sonos doesn't have a cloud API, we use its local API to communicate with our Sonos system over our local network. So as you can see, this workflow has two triggers. One is a timer. This timer just runs every few seconds and queries our local Sonos and then updates some device state information about what music is playing, what's its volume level, and what's playing next. This shows a very good example of querying information from a local peripheral and then reporting that information up to Losense Cloud. When running in an edge workflow, the device state node acts a little bit differently. When running on an edge compute device, these workflows will always execute even if you don't have an internet connection. So when the device state is used, all that information will be buffered locally until an internet connection is reestablished, at which point all that information will be replayed up to Losan's cloud and none of your data will be lost. This workflow also does a great job of demonstrating how commands can be sent from Losan's cloud to those local devices. This command allows us to either play or pause our Sonos music. And this command is actually invoked from a Losan dashboard. So people in our office can log into Losan's cloud view the dashboard, see the input controls, and control Sonos from the cloud, and that command will be sent all the way down to our local environment from anywhere in the world. Compared to cloud workflows, edge workflows do have a few extra triggers. There's the device command, which we just talked about. The edge agent does also run a local HTTP server, so you can invoke it locally over your network, and it does also support UDP messages, so you can send it UDP datagrams. There's also a few extra data nodes that really only make sense when running on a local device. You can read and write to the file system. Uh, for industrial controls, you can read over Modbus TCP or write Modbus TCP. You can even run local executables. So the Edge Agent allows you to install local processes that might be specific to your application and then invoke them with a workflow. Now jumping over to the right, you'll see the debug output. This works a lot like the cloud workflows, except it allows us to connect directly to one of our edge devices to see the debug information reporting from any fielded gateway. And just like cloud workflows, we do have the ability to version a workflow, so you can send specific versions of this workflow to your edge devices, and Losant keeps track of every version of a workflow deployed to all of your devices. The Deployments tab allows you to keep track of which of your edge compute devices have received this specific workflow. In this case, it's only been deployed to one device, but you could have multiple here. Workflow storage works exactly like it does in the cloud. And you can also change the target edge agent version. So Losant continually pushes new updates to the edge agent, which includes new workflow nodes or enhancements to existing nodes. This allows you to set which version of the edge agent your edge compute devices actually run so we can present the correct nodes to you when developing. 
Workflow globals work a lot like they do in the cloud, uh, even the application globals. So when this workflow is deployed to one of your edge compute devices, these key value information will be available to you. The biggest difference between edge workflows and cloud workflows are how they're deployed. In the cloud, there's not a difference between save and deploy. Every time you save it, it is just automatically available and running in the cloud. But on an edge workflow, you can save it and then choose to deploy it. And deploying means something very different. So unlike cloud workflows, edge workflows must be versioned before they're deployed. This is because Losan keeps track of all of the versions that are deployed to all of your edge compute devices. So when I click that deploy button, I first have the option to create a version, and then I can choose the devices I want to deploy to. This is a very powerful feature of Losant. So even though I chose one device to deploy to, I could have chose an entire family of devices based on tag. So if I have thousands of similar gateways performing the same functionality, I can create one workflow and deploy to all of those devices with just a click of one button. So once I click deploy version, Losant will take care of the rest and make sure this workflow is properly deployed to all of my edge compute devices. So that completes my demo of Losant edge compute functionality. And as you've seen, what's great about it is it uses that same visual workflow engine that we use in the cloud, but applied to your local devices. And this allows you to read information from your local peripherals using Modbus, HTTP, or whatever, perform any kind of local processing you need using the visual workflow engine, and then report that information easily to the cloud. From here, I'd recommend checking out Losant University. I would also recommend checking out the documentation, and if you're ready to start evaluating Losant for your organization, you can jump right into the sandbox and start building.